What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning David the Haymaker. Hey, David Hay is returning to boxing at age 40 next month for the fight with Joe Fournier on Oscar De La Hoya's undercard. David Hay is, make, is set to make a comeback at the age of 40. The British boxing legend, a former heavyweight and cruiserweight heavyweight champion, will return for a bout on the undercard of Oscar De La Hoya's comeback fight at age 48 himself against Victor Belford. The show is being put on by Triller, who also staged Mike Tyson's exhibition against Roy Jones. On Thursday night, the news broke first reported by Mike Coppinger with an official announcement made on Friday morning confirming that Hay versus Fourier will be an eight round contest at heavyweight. It is set to be sanctioned to set to be a sanctioned professional bout, which will go on both of their official records. The pair are known to be friends with Fourier or Fournier having previously boxed on Hayes undercard back in 2016. Hmm. Okay. Let me counter punch. Um, I'm not against it. Um, David Hay coming back because David Hay, he had two injuries. Okay. When he fought in, I guess he based his injuries off the idea of like, look, I should, maybe I should retire. But when he fought David, uh, Tony Bellew, he was not in the shape. Uh, he injured himself. Then inju I think, no, the second time, I think it wasn't from an injury. Um, but I guess he felt, hey, it's time to hang up the gloves. But a lot of times when these fighters do, when they leave the sport, like David Hay did, and I think he left it at a good time, okay? Um, I feel that a lot of these guys, you know, when they take – a layoff and they take some time to think, to reflect back on the record. I think a lot of these fighters want to at least come back and give themselves a, a better performance than they did their last time, especially if their last fight they lost. Okay. And David Hay lost. He lost to Tony Bellew in, in two upsets. That's the second upset to Tony Bellew because everybody thought David Hay was going to knock out Tony Bellew, but that didn't happen now, did it? So uh, I think he retired for one out of shame. And for two, out of respect from being shamed again. And him having his buddy there to have an eight-round exhibition, uh, I think that's the problem I have with it. I think if he's going to come back to the sport, he would at least fight someone that's at least still around. You know, a journeyman or something like that, but not someone that fought on your undercard four or five years ago. You know what I mean? I, I don't... I don't think that's worthy. I think that's something that makes himself feel good. It's definitely a confidence builder, you know, if anything, you know, because he knows he's able to go in there and work his stuff without that uh, extra pressure from someone that is coming to really win. OK, you know, your friend, I, I look at this no different than I look at Deontay Wilder and, and Malik Scott, because we all know Malik Scott, do, you know, took a, a dive. He, you know, he started scuba diving. He took a big scuba dive in that fight. OK, so I don't see this any different. <clears throat> Tone, uh, and and I think it's an appropriate um, card because it's David Hayes 40 now. Honestly, I feel every anyone that has retired and came back to the sport and you're in your 40s, you should automatically be placed on the legendary list, okay? You should be fighting in, a, in the legendary league. I don't think you should come back to fight professionally unless... You're George Foreman, and he uh, made everything I said not make sense. <laughs> okay, he counterpunched me with 45 years old, knocking out Michael Moore. But normally, if you retired and you come back to the sport, okay, I think, yes, it's appropriate for you to fight on the Mike Tyson Pioneer League, okay, because that De La Hoya, and he got a lot of guys, and he resurrected a lot of these fighters that wasn't going to do this normally if Mike Tyson wouldn't have done it first. So I am not mad at David Hay for doing that. I just question why did he use his good buddy to come back, yeah, and for especially for this. And, and, and based on it's an eight-round fight, I think 
That's exactly why he wants to be that guy that that's remembered or his last fights would at least be a, a win, a W. OK, so um, I think that's why he's doing it just so he can now go back to commentating, you know, do the fight, work up a sweat. You know what I mean? Relive some of the stuff that he missed about the sport, you know, get it in, get the win bars and then get out of the sport of boxing. You know, or maybe he might feel a little good, a little better about the win and continue. Hopefully this is an appetizer to something else if he's taking it seriously. But I think David Hay, the reason he wants to come back is because of the two back to back losses that that, you know, forced him pretty much to get this get out of the sport of boxing. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of David Hay taking on his good buddy, Mr. Fournier. <laughs> Of course, please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.